What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are here with Jack. Say what's up. What's going on? You guys have seen him um, on my TikTok before because we filmed a, a tournament together. Our I first, it. Uh, was it the first qualifier? It was. It was. First, first qualifier, we placed second. That's on my TikTok. I did not have um, any camera equipment up here with me yet when we did that video. But very important tournament tomorrow. Um, nothing too big, but it's got a nice payout. It does About, have a nice What payout. is it, 1000 bucks? 1000 bucks to win. 1000 bucks to win. It, all right, it's on Lake Gunnersville. Um, the University of Alabama fishing team is putting this tournament on, and anybody can join it. So, we're looking at probably maybe 50 boats tomorrow, maybe more, maybe 100. We're maybe 100. 100. We're hoping for 100. Um, but but yeah, it's it's a big deal, and I'm super excited to be fishing it with Jack. Funny thing, so I don't have my boat yet, that is exactly why we are at Sea Clear, which you guys can kind of barely see it. Um, but yeah, we are at Sea Clear right now. We are getting ready to pick up my boat, my brand new FXR20 Skeeter, and I'm super, super excited. It's kind of last minute. It is it's, a it, last I'm minute. starting this video now because tomorrow we fish the tournament. So we've had no practice. The boat isn't even really broken in yet. Um, we've never fished there before. And we've never fished there before. So we've got three factors on us that are kind of not looking great, but hey, that is what fishing is about. We are gonna go out swinging. Absolutely. And um, hopefully win. But we are at Sea Clear Power right now, getting ready to pick up my brand new FXR20 Skeeter. Cannot wait. I'm like, like, ridiculously excited, like shaking, kind of excited. Um, but yeah, we're about to head in there and check it out and see what's happening. So let's go. Check that out. We got the boat. This is the FXR20 Skeeter. I finally get my first glimpse at it. You guys are uh, enjoying the excitement with me. This is insane. Like I'm freaking out right now because this is like, this is my first, my very first boat. Like it's, it's officially like my first boat. So like that is so important to me. It's such a huge step. Um, but let's come over here, come closer. Let's check it out. So as you guys can see, it's a lot different than my last boat. My last boat was all blacked out. Um, um, and it, it, it was, it was all blacked out, which I loved it. But now we got a little new touch. So listen, look at this white right here and check out the red. This is like pretty close to crimson, don't you think, Jack? It's pretty close. It's pretty close to crimson. So like, we're running roll tide this year, guys. We we've, we've got it all color color coordinated. Um, matches my car perfectly, which makes me so happy. We got the garments in the boat. I'm gonna grab you guys from Jack. So, so we got the two garments right here. Garments right here. And I'm running a really cool thing this year, guys. Beat down outdoors. Um, super important. If you guys haven't seen it on my dad's Instagram yet, he did a kind of a better explanation of it. Um, but yeah, Beatdown Outdoors is a great company. It's a, a new mount that um, is not your regular mount, but it's really, really cool. So you can move it. I'm not gonna do it right now because I haven't really fooled with it yet and I don't exactly know how to work it. I just know you twist and pull out like that, but I don't wanna mess with it yet. I'm just gonna tell you guys, this thing slides back and forth, right? You can slide it in, slide it out, whatever you want. You can have this fully out to this side, fully out to that side. You know, if you got a glare coming in, you can turn your Garmin, you can push this out. And, and move it whichever way you want. Turn this Garmin in if you really wanted to. So like, you can block the glares from any angle and, and you can just mess with it however you want to. So we got it up here on the front deck as well. You guys can see that they've got this extender right here, this extending pole that you can use and it, and it extends up. So when you sit in your seat right here, it's gonna save you the neck pain and the back pain from looking down so far. And I've got an extra thing in there as well so you can make it even higher if you really wanted to. But I think this is going to be good for me now. But, like, check that out. Isn't that so cool? I think that's awesome. So you got two of the Garmin units up here paired with the Beat Down Outdoors mount. And I think that's a great way to run it. And I'm excited to test it out this year. Um, and you guys are going to come along and see it as well. And then we got the Garmin Troll. Check this out. we got the live scope on front, up on the front as well. But this thing looks sick. I cannot explain how thankful I am to see Clear for getting this ready for me last minute. Um, they got they are great people um, Nathan Martin owner of Sea clear you guys need to go check them out seaclear.com they've got amazing amazing work here like they work their tails off and they did exactly that for me I cannot thank them enough they got my boat ready just in time for the tournament but yeah check this out so they they rigged up my whole boat they got my power poles on they got my garments on the beat down outdoors unit they, they just they, they rigged the whole thing all right they got my harness in for my Dakota Lithiums. So they, they put their own harness in here and got this thing dialed down and locked in there. So it's not moving for sure. 
So they got that all down. And I got my power pole charge in there too, so that'll be good. So yeah, I'm super excited to be running Skeeter FXR this year. I'm I'm over joyed with it. But anyways, y'all, we're going to the house, gonna get some rigging up because it's what? Seven o'clock? Something late. like that. Seven o'clock? We gotta get late. going. We gotta get going. Thank you, C Clear. Y'all go check them out. Nathan Martin, man, he's the guy. Y'all go check them out. Do it right now. Alright guys, we are finally at the house. Russ. Say what's up, dude. How y'all doing? Thank you so much for letting us stay at your house. I appreciate it. No problem. Appreciate it. And he's going to fish the tournament too, guys, so hopefully we're going to kick y'all's tail. Nah, How do you work. feel about that? Y'all ain't, <laughs> ain't from around here. <laughs> he said, y'all ain't from around here. That's <laughs> funny. That's real funny, Russ. Now, listen, now, now I have props to joke on you if, if we beat your tail. I'll jump in the lake if you beat us. Oh, dude. What? Dude, so. You'll jump in I'll what? Jump, How? I'll jump off that pier. Down 48, there. 50 degree water. That's how confident I am. You're crazy. Hey Jackson, jump in with me. All right, it's a challenge then. All right, we got a challenge out of this, y'all. But anyways, we got the new boat here. Jack is plugging in some points right now. Say what's up, dude. What's up? <laughs> He's dialed in. Um, and right now I'm looking up, rigging up all my lose rods with my Sunline. Um, kind of. Kind of fishing grass this tournament. Actually, we are fishing, not kind of. We are fishing grass this tournament. It's Lake Gunnersville. It's pretty much all you fish out here. And we're going to be having a speedworm rigged up, trap, and chatterbait. Um, and we're also going to have probably that, I think I talked about it earlier, but that hybrid hunter, the Shark King mate, is probably going to throw that too. What time we got to get up? What, like 3, 3.30? 3.40. Three, well, you're I'll, gonna. I'll so if up. you're getting up at three forty, <laughs> I'm getting up at three o'clock. I'm waking up at last. Waking up at the last second. He's waking time. up the last second. But I am very thankful. Seriously, his dad's gonna cook breakfast for us in the morning. Cannot explain how excited I am. Like I'm already like manifesting it, dude. Like I'm like I'm excited for this eggs and bacon. No, seriously. But all right, we're gonna we're gonna fi finish this up and then we're gonna go to sleep. So we will see you guys in the morning. Let's do it. Welcome to the first tournament of the year on Lake Gunnersville. We are here in Langston, Alabama. And uh, it's gonna be a fun tournament, honestly. I believe that we're gonna hopefully catch them. Um, but I think we got a good shot. I believe we got a good shot at catching a good bag today. We were not able to get uh, practice in on Lake Gunnersville. In fact, I've never even been on Lake Gunnersville before. So it's gonna be an interesting tournament. Uh, to say the least, because, you know, I had school, and obviously I didn't have my boat yet, so I just didn't have time to practice, which is totally fine. Um, a lot of people end up doing that, and honestly, sometimes are the best days is uh, was when you don't have practice, because, listen, you just stick to your guns, and, and you just try and be as confident as you can out there on the water. So that's what we're going to do today, is just pretty much do what we know how to do best. Uh, I was saying it earlier, I'm going to show you guys my setups, but pretty much a trap, chatterbait, crankbait, that square bill. Um, I mentioned this a couple times in the video, but that hybrid hunter I think is going to be key um, because this is fishing very similar to how Seminole fishes. And it was around this time of the year back in my high school derbs that Seminole would fish like this and you know, you're just hitting grass flats and just finding fish on, on the points of these grass flats. and, and uh, you know, you're using that that crawfish color, the that fire color, you know, like that red orange deal. We're running lose this year, guys. I think I've mentioned that in a previous video. I don't know if y'all watched that yet, but um, I'm very, very, very excited to be running lose this year. Um, I, I I cannot wait to keep testing out these rods. Um, I've only used them a couple times, so I'm super excited to just keep on using them and and just kind of break them in. I have not used these rods at all. Um, these actually just came in the mail, so these will have to be dialed in on the first few casts because I haven't even touched the reels yet, so that'll be fun. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited to be running loose this year. Dad is as well. Um, I know he's he's fishing that Okeechobee tournament. I'm probably gonna call him here in a few. He's fishing that Okeechobee tournament today, and it's the last day he's in the lead. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with that. I'm sure this video is gonna post way after he hopefully wins it. <laughs> so um, I'm really, really praying uh, that he wins this thing because it would be really, really awesome to see him pull a win off of his home pond. So you guys check this out. We've got the Hybrid Hunter right here. This is Strike King Hybrid Hunter. Um, this thing is money on Lake Seminole and I believe it'll be money out here. 
That thing is fire. I'm throwing it on. Throwing it on a 7.4, I believe. 7.4 medium heavy action, moderate fast. And this is my trap rod right here. Got a little booyah on there. Um, but again, that red color, that red orange color. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but that red orange color. And I've got this on a, should be a 7.3. Yeah, 7.3 power, medium heavy action, moderate fast. So pretty much the same thing. Um, but yeah, y'all saw it. It's all red and orange stuff. I got a little jerkbait tied on too. Um, that might come into play, but I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I got all my loose stuff in. But anyways, thank you guys for coming along this adventure. I'm excited to get started. Russ, how you feeling? <laughs> you look beat, dude. <laughs> you look so tired. I ain't gonna call that sleep. <laughs> hey, listen, I would I would be lying if I told you I got sleep. I was thinking about catching a giant bass today. This is all I heard all last night. <coughs> <laughs> I was <coughs> coughing. Like, I'm a little sick, guys. I was coughing like the whole night. But Russ's dad is up here cooking something up. Oh goodness, look what he got cooking. That's How you doing awesome. This morning? I'm doing good. Making us a nice breakfast. Oh yes. Thank you. Bacon I really appreciate it. Biscuits. You guys have been great to us, seriously. Alright, let's let's eat some breakfast, y'all, and then we're gonna head out. We are at the boat ramp. We're actually launching at a different boat ramp, guys, because the one that we're actually supposed, what that we're going to pull up to here in a little bit, it's going to be loaded with boats, and we don't want to be caught up in a bunch of traffic, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, so we made it on the water. We're here on Lake Gunnersville. We're idling right now because we're in a bunch of buoys, and it's too dark to even see them. I'm going to go really slow today, probably in between two and 3,000 RPMs, so about 20 miles per hour um, for a lot of the day. Hopefully, if we run enough, we'll be able to pick it up a little bit. But yeah, we are out here on Gunnersville, headed to the boat ramp to check in and get registered and hopefully meet a ton of people up there. So let's do it. Thank you. You went really far. Yeah, thank you. Check this out. Oh, now here, here is the mother load. Mm -hmm. I like the sound of this, okay? I do like the sound of all of this gamagatsu. That G Finesse stuff is pretty dang good. This is easily the best tackle shop I've ever been oh. in my life. Okay, well, you're pushing it. I've never been down to Florida. You're pushing so. it. What is this place called again? The waterfront? Uh -huh. Well, y'all check these people out. Not sponsor content, promise you. This is pretty dope. It's like a maze of just tackle. Like, it's just aisle after aisle after aisle. I mean, it just doesn't end. This is waterfront. Plenty of baits, <laughs> breakfast sandwiches, eggs, bacon. Everything you need in You here. should be uh, their sales, their salesman. Yep. Energy drinks, whatever you need, you know. Nice Rapala section, whatever you need. Literally. Yeah, this All right, guys, we are boat number 21. Blast off's going to be at 7 o'clock. And I believe it is 6. Six o'clock on the dot right now. It's got about an hour for blast off. Um, and then do in time is two o'clock. Everybody's doing it at two o'clock. So there's still some more boats as you can see right there. One's backing in. Um, still some more boats coming in, which is really good. I think uh, last time I heard, what, was there 29 people signed up? I think, yeah. 29 people last time I heard, which we were up there probably about 30 minutes ago. So no telling how many more people signed up. This is. This is awesome turnout for the University of Alabama bass team. Um, it's a hundred dollar entry fee, so we're able to make some good sponsorship money for this. You know, like I said earlier, we're only gonna be running like about 30 mile per hour today, so it'll be fun and cold. But I'm excited, and I hope you guys Hi, are too. Look, sunrise coming up. Very pretty, actually. Very pretty sunrise. We got going here. I actually had to, had to run into the tackle shop and get some gloves. So we got quite a bit of run today, and. Um, put some hand warmers in there too so I'm not uncomfortable and freezing you know I gotta feel my hands on driving but anyways y'all we are boat 21 as y'all know um I think everybody else I think does UA blast off first or blast yeah we're going okay so UA will blast off last everybody else is gonna go and we're gonna wait for our our number Feeling to be great. called Feeling ready great? to catch them finally we're here <laughs> Everything's intact. Everything's I was a little intact. scared. Look, y'all. Listen, y'all can't yet. judge me now. We we picked up this boat last night. I was not really knowing exactly what I was getting myself into. 
but motor's running great. I mean, we're just going to keep it pretty slow today, and graphs are looking beautiful. That beat down out doors mount is working perfectly. I'm going to adjust it here in a few because it is a little hard to see over. But, but yeah, I mean, like, it's everything's working great. Power poles are dialed in. I mean, we, we got it going on right now. We got we it going on. We're ready. Open that up real quick. Check this out, y'all. This uh, Ingle sent me this a couple days ago. I got a little snack tray in here that I put some snacks in. And, you know, it's pretty deep cooler, like heck of a cooler. Pretty heavy duty. I like it. It's impressive. I like it a lot. I don't know if you guys saw it in a clip this morning, but I did do it. Talking about uh, this color right here. I don't know what the scent is called. It's got a mild scent, but I used the gold one because the other ones, well, I guess I could have used the white one too. That would have been good. Honestly, it's been a very big help because whenever I'm on the live scope up front, if you see right here, I'm looking at the grass, the grass line. And I'm watching my chatterbait go through the grass most of the time. So when I find a little grass clump, let's see if we can find one. Cast out, and I'm able to see my chatterbait on the live scope 10 times better with the bait pop because it's got that sonar intensifier. Oh, it's a giant, dude. Let's go! Oh Let's freaking go, dude! Holy Let's freaking go, dude! That's a Let's freaking go, dude! That might be like, that's big. Time. That's a freaking giant! Holy, Holy crap! Oh my god. Holy freaking right. crap! Check that out right there. That is a freaking stud, y'all. On my custom light loose with the hyper mag reel. Got my sunline. That's a pretty good first fish. That's a toad. That's a toad. That's a great first fish right there. We are on the board. All right, let's put this this puppy in the box. Look at that beautiful. I mean, just in yeah, the money good. spot, man. Oh. Check that out. In the money spot. You're good, you're good. Boat flip him. Get him in here. Grab that line, pull him in here. Uh -uh, stop messing with him like that. Boat flipping on one treble hook? Bro. Okay, trust me. Maybe. You're messing with him too much. Alright, you're right. Get. Oh my gosh. Right. You scare me a lot. Let's it's go. awesome. It's a this chunky one. Good, yeah, good one to add to. Good one to add. Hey, that's a okay, fish though. Yeah. Heck yeah, check that that's out. Okay. It's a good, I would say two and a half, three pounder.
I uh, I don't even really know what to say right now. We had three fish for 15 pounds. Is that for real? So he, he put those uh, three fish on the Bubba scale. They came out for 15 pounds. Behemoth. Golly. Wait, got it. Sorry, I only have one hand at the moment. Didn't need those cold tags after all. We did not. <laughs> nice. Last but not least. All right. It's a pretty perfect. good three fish limit. Yeah. I'm happy about it. Yeah. I'm not mad about it. Video. So you said 14 and a half and it was it was exactly that, right? Yeah. Or so pretty close. 14.38, so uh, 14, couldn't get more accurate than that. Yeah, for real. That bubble scale don't lie. <laughs> that bubble scale don't lie. It's not an advertisement. But. No. Well, that was cool. I was able to watch that on FaceTime with my sister, watch my dad when a Bassmaster's open, which is... Pretty stinking cool on his home lake. Um, I, I can't even express how joyful but also sad that I can't be there because I would have loved to share that moment with everybody and my whole family. Um, but I had this tournament on Lake Gunnersville and things happen, things come first. And, and honestly, it wasn't until I would say, I mean, we committed to this, me and Jack, we committed to this. And it wasn't until a couple days ago that I found out, I was like, he actually might win this thing. So, you know, first day he was in the lead. So I was like, man, like it's going to really stink if he wins this thing and I'm not there. But honestly, it's all it's all bittersweet moment. I'm not like mad about it or sad about it. I'm just happy, but also just thankful, I guess you could say thankful. And um, I'm glad that I was able to watch that on FaceTime. It feels more meaningful. So that kind of feels like I was there in a way, right? It kind of feels like I was there. Um, but anyways, uh, you guys saw it. We weighed in 14 and a half pounds, was it? 14.38. Yeah, okay, 14 and a quarter kind of. Eh, 14, we'll, we'll round it up, 14 and a half with a 7.2 kicker, uh, which is pretty stinking awesome. That That is my biggest fish of the year so far. Um, and then also, it was the first fish caught out of my brand spanking new boat, which is even better. Um, so I'm really excited about that. That's a good start to the year. And yeah, so I'm, I'm excited. I'm pretty proud of what we did here on Garnersville. Yeah. I mean, look, we hadn't never fished this place. Never, fished never even ran it. Never even ran this boat. No practice. So like, no practice. The boat wasn't even fully broken in. So we were running 40, not even. No, Maybe we were running 20. 30, yeah. 20 to 30 all day. So it was kind of a hassle. Um, and honestly, with the other factors, we probably could have maybe done better. But in my opinion, we went out with our strongest um, techniques, I think. I mean, I love fishing grass. I don't know about you because you're from Colorado. Yeah, I guess that's true. You're from Colorado, so it's a little different. But you were able to get out in the water and learn about it. You said that it's one of your new favorites now, so. I said that at 10 o'clock. He said it at 10 o'clock. But listen, this I wouldn't, look, you go down to Florida, you go down to Florida, that you make it happen there on some on some eelgrass hydrilla type stuff. But anyways, I am super thankful. Um, thank you, Skeeter, again for this amazing boat. Thank you, Garmin. Thank you, Yamaha. Thank you, Beatdown Outdoors. Thank you, Sunline. Thank you, Luz. Thank you, Gamagatsu. All of my sponsors, you guys are amazing. I could not be here without you. Um, I don't know what we placed. Probably nothing high, but. It was a tough day for everybody, I think, yeah. right? I think we'll be up there as far as our how our team did, and then overall in the tournament, probably middle of the pack. Yeah. Of about 40 votes. Probably. Probably so. Around there. Don't leave anything on the table. Yeah. We went out swinging, so I'm happy for that. But um, to end out the video, huge congratulations to my dad. You are awesome. And, I, again, I wish I was there. Um, but, honestly, it's all, again, bittersweet moment. I love it, and I'm very, very proud of you. And thank you guys so much for coming along this little adventure with me and Jack. You'll probably see more of him because apparently we got some good luck. We do. I, I mean, I we do. look, we played second in our last qualifier, in the first qualifier, and that was the last time I fished with him. Um, and and it was good. So like, so far we've got a streak going. Like we're doing pretty good. 
we're doing pretty good. So you'll you guys will see more of Jack, and um, if you want to go check out how we did on Bankhead when we play second, y'all go TikTok. to my TikTok because I filmed it on TikTok. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tagging along. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please smash that like button, comment down below, and also wish Dad a congratulations. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.